Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games. We're playing Supreme Commander Forged Alliance because this is my favorite RTS of all time. Um, but by far. Um, hands down. <laughs> no questions asked. So this game is still $13 even though it was released in 2007. And it goes on sale on Steam for $2.60. Uh, I think this is one to keep an eye on during the Steam Winter Sale that's coming up. I think this week, and if not, then next week. We're just going to get into a skirmish here. Um, just really, we're just going to say I at random, and we're just going to make this uh, pretty fluid. And it's mostly demonstrative. This video, um, I, I like green. I always go with green. So we're not going to have teams. We will be UEF. That's my favorite. But you can see... I won't get into the details of the story and stuff. Frankly, I don't play a game like this for the story, although I appreciate that they included it. But basically, there are three Earth factions and then one alien faction. So we're going to go with UEF because they fit my play style pretty well. And a small... Well, let's see here. Yeah, normal size map. Or no. Normal game speed, sorry. But it is a small map. Five by five is small. Uh, we can go into game options here, and it's totally customizable. Huge customization options um, to where you can you can make each skirmish exactly what you want to play. So I am kind of uh, curious to see how this game runs on 1920 by 1080. So this is our ACU. Um, one of the, my favorite op features or options about this game is you can just hit the pause button on the keyboard. The whole game pauses, and you can you can lay your you can lay it out, <laughs> all your construction options, and uh, you can just give a bunch of different orders by holding down the shift key. So first things first, we have mass and energy. Uh, those are our two resources. They're represented up here in the top left. Um, I'm not going to go too much into all the specifics and stuff, and I'm not like a power player of this game. I just I really enjoy it. So we're going to go make a couple of these. And so right now I'm just laying out waypoints and what I want actually we're gonna whoops anyway hit pause we're just telling our ACU what to do um, that's an armored command unit he's just he's our commander and then we can also increase the speed of the game oh, it looks like I'm not able to right now uh, but usually I could do it with the plus and minus on the number keypad but you can see so these things well <laughs> I have to mouse over it for you to be able to see it, but look in the bottom left, it says Mass Pump 1. Um, it gives us two mass, that's the little green icon, and then it uh, takes up one energy, and that's the orange icon just below it. And so you can see up here, right now we're running at a deficit with our current build rate, but we have storage of energy and metal, and so um, if you've played RTS games before, this is all pretty familiar, and it, it comes from this game. Um, more more like the game before this, the predecessor, which is Total Annihilation, and that's going way back. I'm dating myself there, but I played that game a lot. That was revolutionary for the RTS genre. And um, this, I think, was a really good, um, I guess, like a sequel game. I haven't played Supreme Commander 2. Uh, when that game first came out, I was really excited, and then I read some reviews, and people were saying that it was basically like a watered-down Supreme Commander, which... I think um, it probably is more popular with more players, but I really like the gameplay of this one because it's just so... It's epic. I, I don't use that word often. I think it's its used too often. It's kind of a just a trendy word, but... Oh, the song changed. So um, anyway, right now we're building land factories. So one, one thing that's cool about this game is you can really... So we'll pause it right here. We can pause it and we can just line everything out again. So like right here, if we want, we can just go straight into Tech 2. So we can click right here. You can see it says, uh, just above where my mouse is, it says constructs Tech 2 land units and it's upgradable. So um, all factories are upgradable and there's uh, for pretty much everything that you're going to use as far as buildings and units. Um, there's Tech 1, Tech 2, and Tech 3. So we'll unpause it here. So this is not on fire. It's just it wasn't built completely, and so um, it just kind of deteriorates over time. And so right here, I can also upgrade it to the next level. That's kind of a big step, though, and it takes up a lot of resources, and at the same time, it stops producing resources. So I'm going to build two engineers, and then 
Let's see, five Gatling, Gatling bots. You can just hold shift and left click, and it gives you five. There's also a pretty cool option right here for infinite builds. So you can just click once on like whatever unit you want to build, hit the infinite build, it'll just continually pop out that unit. And then what's also cool, I like, see this little flag right here. You can hold down shift, and it brings up kind of like the, um, the order overlay, I guess. And you can drag this around, or you can simply select on the factory. Here, I'll pause it here. And then uh, you can just right click somewhere, and then that's that's where your units will go. And then even if you want to do more, you can right click, or yeah, right click, hold shift, right click again, and you can just have your guys do stuff <laughs> like right out of the factory. So it's totally automated. And then one step further, you can actually um, press P, then hold shift. Actually, I'm just gonna press it once to cancel the previous orders. Hold shift and P, or hold shift, press P, and then just have them. They will just come out of the factory and immediately start patrolling. Just pretty cool. I, I, I love this game. And so we're going to build... Let's see, what do we have here? We're building two engineers after we upgrade. So right here, we're just going to build five engineers right away. And we're playing um, on islands. And then we're also playing pretty easy AI, so I can take my time. Usually, I would want to build combat units... Have like one factory just continuously build combat units then have the other factory do kind of that the specialized stuff and so let's get some more power going here and yeah so here's our engineer you can come down here build no we want power generator these are just uh tier one just basic and then you will come up here and do the same thing and you can see we're running at a deficit on, uh, whoops, a deficit on mass right now. And we'll keep going further and further in the hole. So what I'm going to do is just, I'll pause. I'll pause construction there. You can see our mass is now doing a lot better. And now we'll pause it again. And now we're doing even better. And then so since um, we told them to patrol and it's building engineer units, the engineers, oh, there's an enemy. See right there? Ah, we'll see what he does. He might try to reclaim something, though. So, oh, no, he's building a turret in my base. <laughs> That's all right. Right after this um, energy, this power plant is done, we'll have the commander go over there and just give him what for. And there he goes. And you can see it's it's two shots and uh, that thing's done. But So kind of what I was saying here is that uh, we're, we're having this factory build engineer units. And then this this patrol route right here, this engineer unit will just patrol around. And part of an engineer's patrol duties are um, gathering resources, reclaiming. And so right now it's reclaiming trees. Which I think give energy. I forget. Frankly, it doesn't matter that much. Let's keep doing it. So we're going to have him come over here. Again, this is our, this is our level 2 engineer. So we're going to have him come over here. He'll build this uh, mass extractor. And then we'll have him build some turrets. Just uh, right out here in front. And anti-air just because. Did I build the right thing? No, that's a tech one. Why is it tech one? Huh. Well. Oh, that's why. Because uh, that's not ours. That is... Um, the enemies. <laughs> I've been talking and I'm not really focused on like doing uh, the best that I can. So this is mostly just about gameplay. So what I'm going to do is just capture this thing. So I have my engineer and you can see the progress bar done. Now it's ours. And so we'll go ahead and just continue building what we were building. And the reason that uh, this faction fits my gameplay style is that um, I really like infrastructure and defensive buildings. So we're going to have our commander come down here and reclaim all this to help out with our deficit on metal or mass. And so, yeah, right now we're not building anything. You can come over here and you can, uh, on the right side of the screen, you can see our units, your idle units, like idle engineers. And so it selects one, and then you click it again. It selects the other one. It's kind of nice. I like the UI a lot and that functionality and that 
th this is a huge game. You can scroll way out and you can see the entire map. Again, this one's pretty small, but um, you know there are 20 by 20s, and I'm not sure how high it goes. It goes it goes high enough that your frame rate will be destroyed. Anyhow, so we'll go ahead and we'll continue building with our factories. So we have all three Tech One engineers, and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this uh, mass extractor to tier two. And it's a big difference. So if we scroll out, we can see the enemies coming in. You can also see that red circle that pops up around this point defense or turret. So that's the range on it. And you can see that um, the tier three is, is enormous. It's, and so one of the biggest things that I enjoy about this game is um, the fact that technology makes all the difference. You don't have to do it. You can also use um, just like low tier and swarm um, strategy, which works. But uh, I prefer going the technology route. And again, that would be more for like rushing. Okay, so right now it's a Gatling bot. We have five Gatling bots. So we need five Gatling bots and one flak artillery and then a mobile shield generator. And we're just going to put it on infinite builds. I like the Gatling, the Gatling bots a lot. And then so we're going to have all these. They're going to come out of the factory and just start patrolling right like this. And then it's just automated. We can just leave it like that. It's going to produce infinitely. And so now we have a, a tier 2. Let's see. So this is producing 2 metal. Or 2 mass. This one's producing 2 mass. Hang on a second. This one's producing 6 mass. The tier 2. The tier 1 is producing 2 mass. And so you can see there's a big difference between the tech, the tech tiers. And this factory is not doing anything. We're going to tell this one to hold off. You can see right now this one's using up 8 mass. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm looking right here. But you have to be moused over whatever you're looking at to see the details. So you can see right there it's negative 8 metal and negative 39 energy. So that's what it's taking up. And so I'll kind of stop explaining all the economics of it. But um, the economy is real and you have to manage your resources. Um, it's really beneficial to get a good infrastructure going, which I like. And so we'll come over here with our ACU, and we're going to reclaim some stuff. And then we're just going to have him patrol after we get to those two big ones. Just patrol right here. And so what I'm doing is just holding down shift and then pressing P for patrol. I think R is repair. I'm not sure what the shortcut is for reclaim. but. And so he's mostly just getting trees, which I don't really want. Oh, reclaim is E. So I'm going to have him go right here and then... Get all this metal. It gives us a lot. And you can see there are already planes flying overhead. Commander under attack. We're being attacked by something that we can't see because, um, frankly, I'm just not really pushing to do that well. And so what we're going to do is hold shift. And you can see this patrol route. I'm going to move this down to right there where there was an enemy out there shooting at the commander. So that way, hopefully, um, our... Our ground units can get eyes on. Yep, there it is. So this is a Tech 1 frigate. And you can see it's really powerful. And that's another aspect of the game is naval combat. So there's, um, you know, ground units, which is what we have. Land factory. Let's take a look at our commander here. We're going to have him build an air factory, or a few of them. Uh, four of them. <laughs> and then... Uh, and then also, if we wanted to, we could build naval factories, but um, we're not going to do that right now. Naval naval units are great because of their range. Let's see, we have Tech 2 engineers. How many do we have? Where are you going, dude? Oh, he's going there. Okay. So we only have two of them. We're going to come down here. We're going to build these. And so... In a mass extractor so i just clicked my two units i want they're both engineers so they have the build options and then i can hold shift have them come down here build that one that one and that one and then it's kind of automated oh he's just going to stay right there actually because they're getting attacked this is a mobile shield generator and you can see his shield level right here it's going down but he can protect these engineers now 
And so I don't have a radar up. Let's see here. We're going to have these two guys build a radar. Right? Oh, let's scroll out a little bit. So you can see the range of the radar. It's that blue circle. So we're going to build it here. Let's see. We have two more engineers here. We're going to have them come and help out the commander. So you just right-click on the commander and they come and help out. So we're gonna go straight into tech two, or try. Yeah, not even close. Uh, you can see our resources. We do. We just don't have the guts right now in our operation to do that. And so this is just kind of. You can see a lot is starting to happen now. We have a radar, and so you can see all these ships out here. That's what that symbol is. They're unidentified because we haven't actually been out there to get get eyes on them, and they look like they might be subs submarines because no because then we couldn't see them with the radar anyhow <laughs> this is just a cursory video to kind of show this game and, and what it is it's been around for 13 years but it's still i think the greatest rts of all time it goes on sale for 259 from 13 dollars and i think it'll go on sale for the steam winter sale that's coming up really soon again this game is called supreme commander and this is with the forged alliance expansion Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day.